How did you have the balls to forgive the driver? Because to be honest, I would cut him out of my life. <laughs> Hi. Hey guys. Um, my name is Rachel Wilson, and today I'm doing a video with my sisters, Hannah and Naomi. Today we're <coughs> going to be answering questions from my Q&A questions on Instagram questions. I've said that word a lot now. So this is going to be a story time of the time I got yeeted out of the car. I got the call yeah. from who was driving the car. And it was at 4.56. I don't know how I woke up because I usually don't wake up to like... Me neither. Day. I also woke up at the same so time when I answered. He was like... We just got in a car accident. Rachel's in the hospital. So we gave him checked. And then I thought he was joking. I was like, what? I was still sleeping, I was like, what? The first thing I hear Hannah, joking. are you joking? Are you joking? I really thought I was joking, because he and was And I was like, who else? And he was like, wake up your parents, blah, blah, and I'm like, Mark and, and I don't know why we were like, rushing that as much yeah. as we should. I was like, let's go. What was your reaction when you saw me? Yeah, we went to the emergency, and I saw you, and I was like, oh my god. Well, you were in a neck brace, so I was like, did you break your neck? <laughs> that was my reaction, too, when they put on the neck brace. I was like, did I break my neck? No, I didn't. And then I got the music and we're both like, I'm like, huh? Like, oh, yeah. But then really process, right? Cause I was I'm like, like <laughs> and then you wanted to pee, right? So they opened the thing oh, and my I saw your knee, the right knee, where it had that huge cut. <laughs> that was so was funny to me. Then when it opened, I went like, like that. No, no, it wasn't even <laughs> like that. I was watching this all happen. It was like this. So it was like Rachel's name was covered, right? And then the nurse was like, wanted to open. And Hannah's like walking out. She was still looking at the like, No, I was just with She was like, yeah, she was like looking at the like, And then they opened. Like, and then Hannah was like, Oh, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody saw my reaction. And I get no. Like, no, no. I, I saw Hannah. I'm like, yeah, no, I'm not getting anywhere near that. Sorry. And then we both mm -hmm. went like the farthest away we could. I literally went outside and was like, <laughs> <laughs> What was your parents' reaction when they first saw you at the hospital? Can you remember? Well, so our mom, oh, I mean, she was very grateful. She was like, at least you're still alive. And she was kind of distraught. She was like looking at Rachel up and down. And Rachel was in the neck brace like, hey, mom. <laughs> and then when our dad walked in, that was like kind of scary. Yeah. Because Rachel was like, oh, that's my father. Oh, that's my father. You know how she does that voice then? We were like, I bet she got a concussion. I, I thought you were drunk. <laughs> yeah. What? I was like, is she done? He's no, I'm not. What do you remember from the time when the accident actually happened and then someone else asked you when you were conscious did you feel all the pain come all at once or gradually? When you went flying out of the car, did your mind go like, oh shit, I'm gonna die or what? <gasps> oh. <gasps> no, because I don't remember flying out of the car. Like, I don't remember the crash at all. We were just in the car and he was going really fast and I was telling him to stop and then the next thing I know, I wake up on the grass. So I didn't hear a crash or anything. Like, I have no memory of that whatsoever. But when I woke up on the grass, I tried to move but I couldn't. Like, my whole body was paralyzed. I couldn't move my arms or my legs. But I could look, I could move my head. So and I was scream. like, in my head. Yeah, and scream because I someone had to find me, you know? The pain, like, I was so shocked. shocked. I was in so much shock that I didn't feel any pain. I just couldn't move, that's all. When I came to the hospital in the emergency room and they were transferring me from the stretcher onto a hospital bed, I was conscious and I could feel them moving me and then I could feel my legs and it was like a stab of pain just like surging through my whole body and it was just, it was so painful. Like it just hit me all at once as they were moving me and I screamed. And the morning after they had to straighten my leg because it was like open sideways like that. So in the morning they had to straighten it and like actually like move the bone, you know, like it, it. that was so painful. Like, I'm so telling painful. you. Or you don't even remember yelling, right? I remember yelling sometimes. No, but you were literally like, yeah! like until I like, yeah! like actually so and then she would always snap back and it was like Hannah would be like Hannah would be like, Ray, calm down, right? And you'd be you'd be like, What? There were a few days in the hospital first few days where I was in denial of the whole thing as well. I didn't believe I was in the hospital. I didn't believe really? that anything had happened to me. I was just in so much of denial and shock and anger that I kind of just lashed out at everyone around me and I'm really sorry for doing that. How do you poo? <laughs> so, I wear a diaper. Oh, it's the worst when she poos. Oh my God. <laughs> I, I'm a big baby and I hate it. Oh. So, I wear a diaper and then when I'm Done. I 
text my mom and then she comes and changes it for me, which is really frustrating because that's not a nice job, you know? But I cannot go to the toilet myself because I can't stand yet, but I'm hoping by the end of the month I can stand so that I can wheel my wheelchair to the toilet, stand, and then sit on a toilet seat and stop bothering anyone, everyone. Um, how does the driver not listen when you told him to slow down? Youth, I'm telling you. It's teenagers and they're youth. What does it feel like as a 70 year old to be wearing a diaper and be on a wheelchair? Um, awful, because I feel like a burden to my mom especially, but also everyone else. And I also look around at people my age and everything that they can do and I feel like I'm missing out sometimes, which really sucks. Do you feel sad that this happened? <laughs> And you have to stay in bed for that long. Love you, cutie. Love you too. But no, I'm not. I mean, I'm, I'm, yes, I feel sad sometimes. Most of the time. Like sometimes and my she sisters just, make me sometimes cry. Sometimes she just starts like crying. I'm like, why are you crying? Because I'm sad. I'm like, why are you sad? Because I can't walk. But yeah. Because you don't know what to say. Yeah. Like, you're just like. And anything that you do say to me, I'm going to be like, you don't understand what I'm going through. <laughs> How long does it take to recover? Six, Six months. months. Yeah. Hopefully less. Hopefully Please. less. I want to walk at her graduation. Definitely. I've been dancing. She's addicted to dancing. I'm addicted. I can't. Stop it. <laughs> How long were you in hospital for? I was in hospital for three, three weeks. weeks. What were your family's reactions like? Some of my cousins wanted to find and beat the guy up. Mad respect. But their dad was like, don't touch him. Other people were surprised that the driver didn't go to jail. Yeah. Do you wear and make sure everyone you know wears a seatbelt in the car now? Do you always wear a seatbelt in the car now? I do, but I did that before as well because it just makes me feel comfortable. Okay. Is that weird? Do you always wear a seatbelt? <laughs> yeah, but normally, and I get bad safe cars without teenagers who are not supposed to drive and not supposed yeah, to Yeah, exactly. Also, it's just really normal in Jakarta not to wear a seatbelt if you're in the back seat. That's just really normal. normal. Also, there's so much traffic in Jakarta. So you like, don't even need it. You're driving so slowly, nothing would happen. But this was in the highway and it's just subconscious sometimes. It's really stupid, super stupid, but super stupid. Super yeah. stupid, super stupid. What does it feel like knowing that you will have a scar forever? I think it's dope. I think it's so cool. Like it's literally on the side of her abanamanya. She can make like a friggin' motto, man. Like you can be like, what? like in your bikini. Like, what? But yes, I what do have you? scars. Like, and one of my cuts even isn't even healed yet. It's so annoying. It's been but a the month. The biggest scar is the one. Okay, whatever. Advice for people who are going through the same thing. I well, I would say no strong. Bitches. Everything happens for a reason, I believe. I want to believe as well. But when you're in that situation, you will feel like what everyone's saying around you is just baloney. Baloney. So that's when it gets really, really hard. What I'm most thankful for, I think, is that I'm with my sisters and I'm with my parents here. And so I feel more comfortable. Because <laughs> imagine if it happened to me in Denmark, you know, like I wouldn't have my close, close family with me. Yeah. So, yeah, I would have moved. Do you have trauma after the accident? I, I I do actually, and it's really annoying and it's really frustrating for me. Every little thing, like when I was finally discharged to go home, I was so nervous when I first got into the car because I sat in the front seat as well, and I was just so conscious of all the cars and motorcycles around me, and it just like me I held, I held my breath the whole time we were on the way home, and even when I was in the ICU, I was trembling for a few days, like mm -hmm. I I would not stop shaking, so. I was like drugged oh. for a couple of days and then after that when I was fully awake, I could not sleep for like oh. three or four days on my own. I couldn't. I would take naps during the day because I was so exhausted and tired, but at night I could never fall asleep. I think that's all. Is there anything else you want to say? Um, well, everyone always asks, how's Rachel doing? They ask you how you are you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. But you just I'm fine. just can't get into it because they would never understand. I just, I, I feel normal, but I just can't And walk. she's alive, maybe. Like, I'm not strong enough to walk. She's alive. I go to physio three times a week. Um, you mean gym, just say gym. Yeah, I'm a gym junkie now. I hit the gym and... Yeah, she goes to the gym more than I do. I go to the gym more than I ever have in my entire life. Come on. Do you want to thank all your friends and family for visiting? visiting yeah, thank you there was a so lot much for visiting. That means so much, man. I'm a sorry if you visited while I was passed out and unable to comprehend your presence. Yeah. Or if you came when I was still on drugs and...
didn't talk about it. Anyways, if you have any more questions, leave them down in the comment section below. We'll and make sure you like and subscribe and, and get us to five socials. They're gonna be linked down in my description below. Or Let me know any other videos you'd like to see about my recovery journey. I'll try to post a lot more. And if I don't, it's because I'm sad and watching Netflix. Can you get out of my hair? <laughs> Literally. So funny. Sometimes they're so annoying, but I love them anyway. Everyone do this at the same time. Ready? Three, two, one. Yeah. Three, two, one. Yeah.